hope you're well welcome to my channel if you've not been here before it's where I talk about twin flames and these are the readings for February 2021 by sign you can look at these readings um, as a whole so they've all got advice that's worth listening to no matter which sign you are um, you could if you wanted to um, break it down by your Sun moon rising sign or where you've got a strong aspect on your chart to a particular sign so you might find that some are more beneficial than others um, to you at this current time but like I say you can listen to all of them if you want it's all good advice my guides talk through me about everything twin flame that's all they talk about and um, so when they talk it's all valuable for whoever's listening because it you know depending where you're at your process so just to say that so you got like probably three hours of listening if you wanted it and just to set it in a couple of videos this year is 2121 mirror numbers we're 21st century and this is about reunions this year so that's what's coming up um so always just focus on vibration because vibration is where they um it's the core of the whole thing it is the focus of the whole thing that you're going through it's just to know that with everything and um, what else did I want to say um, there's a video I've put out about um, my channel what's about if you want to watch that I'm going to put one out about the readings that I do shortly hopefully soon um, I've got uh, questions that people have given me on some of the readings I put out recently and I'm going to be doing videos on those soon as well so if it hasn't come up yet it's just because I haven't got time, had time yet, but I'm doing all the questions that come up. If you've got a question, you can post it below in the comments and I'll do a video on it if I've got time or if it's really easy, I'll just answer the question. Uh, general questions only, obviously not on personal stuff because that would mean doing a personal reading. Um, and what else? And I've put out my, I have a Facebook page which I uh, hid for a while and I've opened that up again and that's um, if you were a liker of that you'll you're still liking it because everyone's still on there that was so um, just to be aware that I'm going to be posting on there little bits and pieces occasionally things that come up that I just don't really warrant a video and um, but I've got to it's up and it's it's viewable but I haven't dusted it off so it does need a bit of polishing up so there's nothing on there right now at the moment I don't think but um much to look at right now but I'm going to get that all sorted out as well so that's back up and running properly so that's just it hope you enjoy the readings and um, like I said if you wanted to book a personal reading um, or session the details are in the description box below where you can contact me about that okay lots of love take care bye hope you're well so this is a reading for cancer for February 2021 so cancer Twin Flames, February 2021. And um, just whilst I was putting the video on, um, focusing in, I was seeing the moon and I was seeing dark half, light half, and a paper clip. So I think really that's just about you making sure that you've got a note on your calendar or on the front of the fridge, letting you know when the moons are coming. Because in some way, this month that's really important I'm also seeing two birds one's dark one's light um, masculine and feminine energies and the light one uh, they're like feeding together the light one is almost transparent I feel like maybe you're gonna get a blast of the masculine energy through you this month maybe the next moon which is the new moon so that's the one they want you to paper clip and make really uh, batten down the hatches prepare for all right let's have a look just be aware of it awareness is everything and then observe rather than be become whatever it is that they are um, you know there might be like a lot of masculine energy coming through you a lot of ego just try and be the witness Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning, physical world. Ooh, Ace of Swords, communication, brand new communication. <gasps> <laughs> Do 
Ace of Wands. So you've got three aces in a row. Um, Ace of Wands is manifestation, it's creation. Um, it's coming from the energy. Let's have a look here. Ten of Pentacles, completion. Six of Swords, let go. Five of Wands. So Five of Wands is confusion and chaos. So it is that masculine energy. Let's have a look what else we've got. Knight of Wands, that's energy moving. So look, you've got Ace of Wands and you've got it opposite energy moving. So like I said, something coming through you that you need to let go of because let go is in the middle of them. Let's see what we've got here, Wisdom. So that's the observer. You just observe what's coming through. You notice. Divine lovers, opposite. Ace of Pentacles, which is something brand new in the physical world. Everything that's happening to you is always about physical reunion. Ten of Wands underneath. So that's the ending of all the fear. Every single rod on the back is something to do with fear. See the fear of the family, fear of society. It's fear that comes through generations, that's felt in the lower chakras, even when you can't see it with your physical eye. It's fear of the self, it's fear of love, it's fear of reaching out, it's fear of the conclusion, it's fear of moving, for, it's fear of everything. Okay, so masculine energy is fear. Masculine works from the egoic perspective, which is the mind perspective, which is fear. Where all fear is, there's no fear in higher energy above that, there's only fear in thought consciousness, so... The masculine works from that perspective. So they have got to go through massive amounts of fear. They've got to be around fear. They've got to feel fear. They've got to witness fear. That's why they go to war a lot of the time, both here and in the astrals. In fact, they're fighting the war in the astrals, um, which has just about died off now. So coming back from war, <laughs> soldiers are coming back from war. So let go of whatever it is that comes through you at the next moon so really that's what they're talking about which is going to be masculine energy coming through which is that ending that needs to come through you so it might be going you might hit the moon look there's a moon in the picture and you might feel the craziness coming through and remember the masculine is the collective consciousness the masculine is egoic consciousness so you might feel coming through you fear of multiple levels fear on multiple levels and what you have to do, like they said at the beginning, you batten down the hatches and you hold on to the sides and you just let it through and you don't get corded about it. So if you see something fearful, um, you just observe it. You don't go on Google and start to Google it and try to find out what that is, what the meaning of is it, have other people seen it, what do they think of it. You just let go of it and you observe it. That's one way, right? If something's coming through you, if you get like funny rash on your body or physical, something coming through physical um, and just don't go to Google and Google it. All right. Just notice it there. Look at it. Tell yourself that's fear. That's fear. That will go away as my vibration rises. Just observe. Just observe. Don't get caught up in it. The more you focus on the fear, the more you're going to draw to you things that are fearful until you learn to not focus on the fear. So that's the job whenever you see fear. When it comes to you from the masculine, it's no different. You're managing their fear for them. So it's even more you batten down the hatches, you hold on to the sides and you observe and you let it come through and it will leave you as it comes through and as it leaves you as it comes through, you're clearing the fear, you're bringing in your physical reunion. So can you know that as well, that the fear is about your physical reunion? So it's nothing to be frightened of. It's something to just observe and let it come through and try to maintain your vibration in relation to it. So try to not let yourself get down, feel thwarted or flawed. To so try to just, you know, remove yourself from the situation. My guides call it taking yourself offline. That doesn't mean just not looking at Facebook. It means going and lying down and shutting your eyes and going to sleep. Because when you go to sleep, you go back to spirit. You go offline as a human. <laughs> so try doing that at the moon. You've got completion coming in. Ten of Pentacles. It's going to, before you complete, you get more fast, it gets more fast and furious. The purge gets, gets fiercer as it gets towards the end. It is like a million different people thrashing around inside of your head, having all their thoughts of fear. And ultimately, 
at the end of that, it tails off into just having really irrelevant, irrational thoughts going around inside your head and then tails off to just really boring thoughts going around inside your head. So it does die down, but first of all, it's going to be the fear before you've got to clear that, before you get to the um, the irrelevant and then and then, then to the boring. And you end up with just your to-do list going around inside your head. So just know that, right? Let's get one more out on these. Six of Swords, Relationship. First of all, it's your relationship to source. So imagine this way, picture this. When you're inside your head and it's going round and round and round with all the fear and the worry and it's thrashing around and it's one thought after the next and it's all coming at you and it's like you can't get past them and they're all taking you down in vibration because they're all really negative and they're talking about everything you should be worried about from like the, the bunion on your big toe to the fact that your car, the gear shift doesn't work and the you need you know all this stuff right and it's all going on inside you this is what you're wading through to get to your reunion so beyond all that thought is source right so first of all it's your relationship with yourself and source and source is when you're in clarity and what clarity is it's no thought it's no mind and it's just freedom so that's where you're going that's where you have to go to to get to your reunion is that point of freedom so just know that it's never going to help to get go into the thought and down a, a cul-de-sac or a blind alley of a thought that's only going to take you into more fear. Okay. And underneath, healing in the Knight of Pentacles. Healing is what that is. Healing is what that is. When you come here and you're human, the only thing preventing you from accessing source is thought. And that comes in through yourself and your twin and through the collective consciousness. So how do you reach feeling good and source? By clearing through all that shit. That's what healing is. So you have to direct your attention elsewhere. So where can you direct your attention? To your heart space. The heart space is where love is. So you breathe into your heart space and you settle down the mind choices in what you bring in choices two of wands energy ace of uh, wands and queen of pentacles coming out on the energy down here in the knight of wands so it's like you have to ground yourself all those crazy thoughts that go round and round that's not grounded energy that's fear and looking at the fear and trying to find out more about the fear that's not grounded energy that's getting corded by the fear <laughs> So don't get corded by it. Pull yourself away, ground yourself, be in nature, look at nature, be around the trees, be around animals, be in a salt bath, be eating food that grounds you, eating really nice food, healthy food, nutritious food, what feels good food, if you need to eat it. Lie down, rest, look after yourself. With you, it's all about the moon that they're talking about with doing that, right? Ace of Pentacles, do what's right, physical world, justice is coming out, lovers vibration coming out on lovers so it's a dual vibration that you're tangling with so if you want the reunion you've got to deal with a vibration first and that's not in the head the vibration is in it starts with the feet flat on the floor and then it moves up the body and it sinks into your lower back where you want to be looking to relax that area and then up into the belly where you want to expand your belly with your breath and every time you focus down there on those things, you start to feel your thoughts less and less and less. And then you can move the air into your solar plexus and start breathing into your mid-belly and expand it there. And even less thoughts in that area there. And then really into the heart and slow deep breaths into the heart energy. And you'll find that you just start to drift off. And just stay there. Stay there and drift off, feet flat on the floor. And you'll be in a lot better energy than when you are in the head, all right? At the moon. Ace of Swords, creation in the physical world. Three of Pentacles, bringing it in. Hermit, fear, wisdom over fear. So you've got to take that understanding and work from that understanding. Everybody feels fear. Everybody in different ways. Focus on what's more beautiful and what is more 
sublime rather than the fear. So there's loads of things on this journey that are amazingly wonderful that you experience, that are profoundly beautiful. Many signs and synchronicities, so focus on those instead of the fear. Take yourself back to that energy of those things that you see and that you manifest and that spirit brings to you. Ten of Pentacles, work, completion, work, work in the physical. The physical framework, the matrix is fear, always. And the more you focus on that fear, the more you bring it through, the more you manifest it. You don't want that, so don't do it. Five of Wands, confusion about what you bring into being in a physical world. Crazy, confused energy is going to manifest crazy, confused things in the physical world. So don't do it. Harmony, Ten of Cups, happy relationship. Right, so I'm leaving it there. I think I've given the message really clearly. There's no more to say. What comes in in the form of a happy relationship between two twins is going to come from letting go of all fear. I'll just say it that one last time. <laughs> Back with the next one soon. Lots of love. Bye.